Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your love reading. I generally wanted to do your reading last night. I felt that the Scorpio reading needed to come after Taurus. I felt like it needed to come right after. I didn't get to it last night, but I'm feeling compelled to have to do it today. So that may resonate with a few of you um, for today. I also wanted to talk a little bit about your mascot. So I've chosen Drake, Canadian singer and lyricist, um, as your mascot. And the reason why I've done that is because Drake is very transformative in his energy, okay? And I feel that a lot of Scorpios are in that same energy, okay? Um, he's able to be a lyricist whenever he wants to have a more aggressive approach. And then he transforms back to this sweet, soft, caring side of him, okay? And I feel like that's what Scorpios are like. You guys can be aggressive and put the pressure when you need to, all right? Um, but you're also a very sweet, caring, and nurturing person, all right? So now we're going to get straight into your reading. I'll be taking a look at your past, your present, and your future in reference to a love connection that has you conflicted. If your love life is going great, as you know, this reading is not for you if everything is going great for you. If you're experiencing an issue, then this is your reading, okay? Um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, all of those options are in the description box below. If you're interested in calling me and having a telephone conversation with me, just hit the description box. You're able to look at different options, send me an email, and we can move forward. Not every single Scorpio is going to identify with this message. It's impossible for me to be able to capture every Scorpio in this world, okay? So for right now, we'll be taking a look at your love situation. Let's get right into it. This is for the sign of Scorpio in reference to a love situation that has them conflicted. Please talk to me and provide me with messages, intuitive messages. Okay. Past present and then we have the future here okay so Scorpio I'm feeling like there's a risk that you know that you have to take or there is a move that needs to be made and even though you know you have to do it you're not ready to take action at this present time Okay. There could be a lot of speaking to people about this, asking for their opinions, asking for their thoughts on which path you need to take. I feel like you're not ready to take that path right now, and that's completely fine. If you feel that right now is not the time, then believe yourself. Okay. Also, I think that whatever it is that you have been thinking so much about and whatever it is that you're asking people to give their opinions on is something that needs more time to be figured out, okay? So this is not a decision or a choice that you can just rush right into, all right? You guys know your situation better than I do. I'm just here to read the energy and that's what I'm getting, okay? You have to... Really do some more contemplation, some more preparation for this move that you're thinking about making, okay? It could be that you want to travel. It could be that you're actually planning on moving. It could be that you're trying to cut off a connection. It could be that conversation that you need to have, that confrontation. You're not confrontational, all right? Scorpios don't like the confrontation, if there's another way that you guys can figure it out, then that's better for you guys. And I think that there's a calling for you to find that other way, Scorpio. All right, so we're going to look into the past situation to see why you're here. All right, so you could have been dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius, and I have air energy here as well, okay? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So... Somebody decides to not 
be the way that they were before. So someone suddenly is changing, okay? And you're starting to notice that. Somebody starts to block and starts to guard or they're just behaving differently, okay? It's almost as if when they lay down next to you in bed, they're facing the other way and they don't want to face you. And it's like, what's the problem? Okay, so you're going to notice that difference, that change in this person, okay? Even when they lay next to you, all right? So they're not um, as close to you as they were, you know? It's, it's, what I'm getting is, is that this person is turning around and it's almost like, you know, it's obvious that there's something else going on. Now, when I say that, it doesn't mean that it's actually another person that's involved. You never know what your person is going through until you actually have that one-on-one -on -one combo, right? And that became very clear to someone. And the heaviness that your person is feeling, all that stuff that that person doesn't talk to you about is what's causing all of this blocking, okay? Um, and I think that it's very stressful. Some of you are still in a relationship with this person who treats you like this, and you're trying to find a way to make it better, to find a solution or a resolution to the issue, and others of you have cut somebody off, all right? Um, and if you've been cut off, then you're trying to figure out what the blocking is all about, but I'm seeing the Ten of Wands, so I feel like your person is going through a deep introspective issue that you're unaware of. And I don't think they communicate this enough to you, which is part of the problem. So now we're going to look at the present energy. So somebody wants to come out of the Ten of Swords. All right, somebody's really stressed out. Okay, this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. You take this energy the way that it conforms to you, you know. So if it's the side of your person, it's your person. If it's you, then it's you. But what I'm feeling here is somebody has a lot of pressure on them all of the time. It's like if you're in a relationship with someone or there's one of you that either works more than the other person or has more um, tasks, okay, than the other person, you know, has more on their plate, okay, and someone just wants to come out of that energy, and because, you know, you feel like you're not getting enough attention, then you're feeling lonely here, okay, um, and it's hard to have the strength to actually walk away from this connection because you're so bonded to this person is what I see in the present energy. In the future, you have someone who still isn't giving you what you want here with the Father of Cups in reverse. You have the Two of Swords, and I feel like you're still unable to make this decision or this choice, okay? And... You just want to come out of being sad, though. So I think that you are going to be taking some steps, right? And there's something here that we started off the reading with where you are in your mind heavily about a decision, a choice, a conversation, a move. There's something you know that you have to do. And right now is not the time. You need more time is what I'm hearing to figure out what this is, Scorpio, okay? Um, so now we're gonna clarify to see what this is all about here. So in the past position, you have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, more fire energy with the 10 of wands here. So I wanna look at what this blocking is all about because either you or your person keeps blocking. So I wanna see what that's all about. Let's clarify that. Please provide me with messages in reference to this Seven of Wands, fire energy here, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for Scorpio. Please talk to me in reference to this blocking that's going on. Okay. Again, more blocking, fire energy. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, and then we have 
you know, someone who wants to come out of feeling trapped, all right? And here we have the Fool in Reverse again. So the Fool in Reverse came out at the beginning of your reading, and here it is again. Right now is not the time to act on what it is that you're wanting to do, okay? You need to talk to more people about it. You need more advice on whatever this is, Scorpio, okay? Um, you know... I feel like you need to take your time, pace yourself. You cannot make an impulsive decision here, all right? That's the past there, okay? Nine of Wands, all right? So somebody's still, like, holding back. There's something that someone needs to express or say, and they're not saying it. It's like, come clean, okay? Come clean for whoever that is. All right, if you're watching for um, a Scorpio, if you're a cross watcher, you need to come clean with how it is that you feel and you need to be honest and you need to stop holding back. All right, that's what I'm getting for the cross watcher. In the present moment, there is no strength right now. You're just feeling this heavy, heavy pressure. You're tired of someone um, repetitively being the same way. Okay, I'm getting an energy of someone just... It's like you're telling them they're just not, you know, understanding where you're coming from, okay? So let's talk about what this Four of Cups is all about because this is an energy of someone being very lonely, feeling lonely, okay? So I want to verify more about what that is about. Please provide me with messages in reference to this Four of Cups here. Please speak to me in reference to the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio? Why? Whoa. Okay. So we have the Six of Swords. Okay. So one of you, or it could be both of you, can't walk away or doesn't want to walk away. Okay. Or doesn't want to leave. All right. And there's still... Something that's hidden here, okay, with Virgo energy. You know, there's someone here who just doesn't speak up. And there's someone here who's not being honest with themselves, all right? You take that whichever way it resonates, all right? Someone needs to be clear. And I think that that clarity is going to come up, you know, eventually because you can't keep doing this. It's not, it's not helping the both of you, all right? So in the future, you had this energy of the Father of Cups, okay? The Five of Cups in reverse, and then the Two of Swords. So there's a decision again that needs to be made. So let's look at why this Father of Cups, whether male or female, there's no gender in tarot here, okay? Remember that. I want to know why this Father of Cups is in reverse. So what's this person's problem, right? Whether you or the person that you're dealing with. So why is Scorpio energy in reverse here? Please speak to me in reference to... Okay. So we have the moon card, right, which is, again, there's something that needs to be revealed here, okay, whether on your part or the part of your person, and I feel like it will be happening soon, okay, there's going to be judgment here, so someone needs to make a choice, okay, on what it is that they want to do, and I'm feeling, you know, it probably has to come from your person, for most of you. From, for others of you, you're the one who needs to come clean. But I'm feeling more that it's your person who needs to be honest about what's going on here. Okay, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You love this person, okay? And, and there's no denying that, Scorpio, okay? Showing up here with the King of Cups. All right, and this person knows that. And this person probably doesn't want to hurt your feelings 
which is why they're not being honest. Okay. They really do have an admiration for you too. So it's, it's not easy to come out with what has happened or how um, you really feel if you think you might offend someone, you know? And this person, ultimately, I feel like your person, they're avoiding the drama and the tower moment, and they're avoiding making you feel bad. They don't want to make you feel bad. They don't want to see you suffer. They don't want to see you cry. They don't want to leave you alone, okay? So that's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. Let me pull one more card for advice in reference to your situation, okay? Please give me a card for advice to close out here. Okay. So Scorpio, okay. Just like I was saying. And I don't want you to take this the wrong way, okay. We have your energy coming up here with the death card, okay. Scorpio energy. And then we have the Knight of Cups, okay. And that's your energy too. So you love this person a lot and, you know, and I've already said that and it's coming out here again, okay? And I know that sometimes you guys watch these readings and at times I have to be honest with you because this is an energy reading. I can't always, everything's not always going to be rainbows and candy, you know? The truth here is that if there is going to be an ending, then... Take that into consideration, all right? Whether it's on your part or their part, all right? If you're interested in looking further into the situation, just send me an email, okay? Take care.